So multiplying fractions. First of all, do you remember the rule for multiplying fractions that you multiply the tops, you multiply the bottoms? Did anybody as their first step write 60 over 40? Because they did 5 times 12 is 60, and 4 times 10 is 40. And then reduce this down to the lowest terms and get 3 over 2. Okay? Now, you can do that. However, since multiplying doesn't matter the order, life can get easier if we simplify early. So I could do 5 times 12 and get 60, and 4 times 10 and get 40. However, I also might notice, and I'll do this in two different colors, I know that 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 over 1. So if I wanted to, I could simplify that early. And I could also simplify and say, I know that 5 over 10 is 1 over 2. And now if I multiply, what's 3 times 1 is 3, what's 2 times 1 is 2, I get the same answer. But I didn't have to multiply any big numbers. Now this can get messy when we start doing this, because right now I look at what we have, and it is kind of messy. Sometimes an easier, well, an easier way to show what we did is I could change my 12 to 4 times 3. And I could change my 10 to 5 times 2. And since we're multiplying and these are identical, those would simplify to 1. And these would simplify to 1. And I would get 3 over 2 that way as well. Okay. If we can do simplifying early, it'll make our life easy. Okay? For example, here's two fractions. I'm going to give you 37 over 19 times by 53 over 37. What is this in lowest terms? I hope you can see that it's 53 over 19. I hope you didn't do 37 times 53 in your head. Or have to do 19 times 37 in your head. Those are both very big numbers and difficult mental math to do. And then you would have two big numbers that you would have to reduce. It is so much easier to say, since we're multiplying, if we have two identical factors and we're multiplying, we can simplify, and that's equal to 1. Next, do you remember the rule for dividing? The rule for dividing in fractions is that you multiply by the reciprocal. And since we're multiplying and these are identical, I could simplify those. And I would just be left with negative 20 over 5, which you might recognize is just negative 4. So when multiplying by the reciprocal, we do that again here. It is the second one. That gets changed. Again, you could break this up, like 6 is 3 times 2, and I might break up the 24 to be 8 times 3, and say, hey, wait a second, my 8s would cancel out, my 3s would cancel out. What am I left with? On the top, I'm just left with a 1 and a negative. On the bottom, I'm left with a 2 and a negative. Negative 1 over negative 2 is the same as positive 1 over positive 2. I would get 1 half. So if you break things up and have identical factors, that makes it really easy to see. Some of us, though, would probably do this in steps. Did anybody say, I know that this is negative 3, which is negative 3 over 1. And this becomes 3 over 6, which I could reduce to 1 half. You have some options, right? How you want to simplify is up to you. Sometimes doing, like, 
I find I do this a lot. But that's very hard. Like, what just happened? And if my answer, when I check my final answer, is wrong, I'd be like, I don't know what I did there. I guess I just drew a bunch of lines through things and rewrote some numbers, but I can't even see my mistake after I went it through. Went through it. Breaking it up like this, oh, I can cancel a fours, I can cancel a fives, being left with a three over two, a little bit nicer, and probably more in line with what we're going to get when we go to example one. So feel free to simplify how you feel comfortable, but I'm going to try this technique so that I'm only canceling things out that are identical. So we, even with my numbers, I'm going to change this 9 to 3 times 3 because I saw there was a 3 on the top. I'm not going to change the b squared to anything, but I'm going to change my a squared to a times a. Because I just want to have so much fun going, those would cancel out because we're multiplying. One of these A's would cancel out with one of those A's. What am I left with now? And now I go, what am I left with? On the top, I'm left with a 2 and a B squared. On the bottom, 3 times 5 is 15 and an A. The answer key at the bottom also states the non-permissible value. The only thing that would cause me to divide by zero is that a can't equal zero. Okay. But I also see people doing this. Okay. This is nice and clean. Clean work tends to have less mistakes. Not a bad idea. I see, I see this because I do this a lot. I would just like, ooh, those cancel out, leave me with a three on the bottom. And then I'd be like, ooh, this, that cancels out with that eight. And, and then when I go to write what's left, I have so many lines that sometimes I'm a little lost. So expanding things out and just canceling out what's identical cleans things up a little bit. You're going to make a few less mistakes. I don't mind if you're able to do it shorter. But if you check your answer at the, at the answer key and it's wrong, then I would say maybe you should try it again and do it a little bit slower, show a little bit more work, and see if that fixes it up. So same thing in B. I'm multiplying here. I would probably, my first fraction, that x squared I can write as x times x. I'm going to... Are you okay if I erase the first part? I feel like I'm going to run out of room. Is everybody done with the first part? Awesome. Uh, two fractions multiplied by each other. I can't break up 3x anymore, but because I have an x squared, I might write that as x times x times x plus 2, and then I have 5 x minus 4, 8 times x times x plus 2. We're multiplying all the way through. Okay, This x plus 2, identical to that x plus 2. We can simplify that. That'll be 1. Sometimes I use different colors when I cancel out different things. This x and this x would simplify to be 1. And this x and this x would simplify to be 1. Ooh. I don't have anything else identical, but can you see anything else that I could have broken up? Okay, so I'm going to take out, hopefully you did yours in pencil, I'm going to erase that 8, and I'm going to change it to 2 times 4. And then with another color, that 2 would cancel out with that 2. When I break it up like this and simplify this way, now 
I can check what's left. What's left on the top is just the 5 and the x minus 1. What's left on the bottom is a 3 and a 4. That makes 12. And that's it. So I get 5 over x minus 4 divided by 12. If I check my original equation, the non-permissible values, x can't equal 0, because that would cause you to divide by 0 again. And x can't equal negative 2, because that would cause you to divide by 0 in the second fraction. So again, the color coding is nice when you look at it afterwards just to make sure that you cancel out things that went together. Okay? And it's not bad if you had this written out to begin with. This isn't bad to say I can cancel those x plus 2s. This x squared cancels out with those x's. This 2 and this 8 would leave me with a 4 on the bottom. You can do that, but do you see how messy that starts to get? Right? And if you're just a little bit not confident, and that's the way I showed you how to do this, you'd be like, I, um, maybe I'm lost. Right? So you're struggling, you're at home, and your parent says, well, how did your teacher show you? Well, they did this. And I don't know how to write the answer after they, like, this was the work. Look, at, can't you tell what the answer is? So sometimes it gets a little messy. So I find that if we do break things up, and I like the color coding because afterwards my eyes go to it and say, yeah, it makes sense that those were identical and I canceled them up. Makes sense that I canceled out certain things with certain things. And it's also spread out so that afterwards I can see what's left. Okay. This, though, I, I don't know why. There is just something innately enjoyable about canceling things out and simplifying things. Like, ah, you are going to love multiplying and dividing. Adding and subtracting, not as enjoyable. But multiplying and dividing, canceling things out, quite nice. Okay, questions for practice are 3, 5A, 6A, and B. And 11, 8. I'll give you five minutes to try those right now. 